What's up, everyone? We got some cool stuff to show you from one of our listeners. He sent it to us. It's awesome. But first, we got to clean up this nasty mess of a cutting board. So, we just throw a little bit of alcohol on this thing. Get a paper towel. And we wipe it clean. She's clean. All right, back to what Jake sent us. So, Jake sent us a message earlier, about a week or two ago, that he was cutting some custom templates. Um, so he made, actually, these awesome stop templates and these laser cut Railroad crossing templates in HO 187 scale. So what we're going to do tonight is show you guys how we're going to apply them to a piece of road that we worked on with another video. And then also we are going to give these out. So we're doing our weekly prizes on our podcast and he gave this awesome little sign to go with it. Anyways, thank you, Jake. Uh, we're going to keep a set for ourselves. Voila. The rest of these we're going to be giving away on our podcast each week. So listen in for a chance to have these included in your prize pack in the upcoming weeks. So let's get rid of those and let's show you how we work with these ones. So what you're going to need for this template here to paint these is your paper or paper towel. A palette with some paint in it. Be careful, Brett. What are you doing? You're throwing a palette with paint in it. We're using white paint. We're using Apple Barrel Misty White. It's cheap. It's like 70 cents. You can get it at the Michaels or whatever. You're also going to need your templates. So we are giving these away each week again. Make sure you listen to our podcast to figure out how to win them. Um, and we're going to use a brush. The, this is kind of a whatever. It's the technical term for this brush is the Yangju Focus. You. The Yangju China 3. It's a fancy model. You can pick it up for eight easy payments of 10 cents. All right. The other thing you're going to need is, where's it at? You're going to need your road section. All right. So we did this. We used this road in a different video. Um, we're just going to keep adding to it each week. So, or each tutorial with scenery. So right now we are going to, we have two lanes. There's a lane here and a lane here. We're actually just going to do, um, Pretend there was a rail crossing here and put down two stencils. We're going to put the railroad crossing on one side and the stop on the other side. Just to show you guys how these templates look once they're down. So what you need to do is get your white paint. Get it on your stiff coarse brush. And we're going to use a dry stippling effect. So you got to get a little bit of the paint out of the brush. Um, Jake recommended using the dry stippling effect. Um, so it doesn't bleed out from underneath the stencil. So what we'll do is we'll take the stencil, we'll line it up. We'll try and get it close to the seam here in the road, this expansion joint. And we'll just dry stipple. Basically, it's dry brushing, but you're just uh, kind of pecking at the road. Pecking at the road. Making a, a pecking, a poking motion on the on the road. So... We did do a test run of this just to make sure they work good and they turn out fantastic. So I'm excited to show you guys what they look like. All right, there's your stop. A little light, but it's okay. We'll, we'll do it a little darker on the railroad crossing. It's also on a gray road, so it's a little difficult, a little more difficult to see on a gray road, but here we go. All right, let's see what that looks, looks like. Pick it up, Brett, pick it up. Awesome. They turn out fantastic. 
The only one thing I do want to do on the X here, as you can see, there is an area where the stencil uh, wasn't able to reach. So to fix that, all we're going to do is just get a brush, like a thinner brush here, and we're going to dry brush or dry stipple kind of the lines back in. Just like this. And we might as well do the R, the two R's while we're at it. And all this is doing is filling in the stencil cutouts. I don't know what the technical term for those things are. Sprues in the stencil. But there you go. I didn't do the stop because I'm lazy. But that's the railroad and that is the stop. Railroad crossing and stop sent templates from our dear friend and listener and past podcast guest, Jake Johnson. So we'll be giving these away each week on the podcast. Uh, at least for a few weeks. And um, hopefully Jake has some more information on these soon. Stay tuned. But there we go. That is just awesome. Cool little cheap effect that we can all add. And you guys can have a chance to pick up. So if you listen on Fridays, you'll figure out how you can have a chance to enter to win these. Also, hit the subscribe button down below if you like our videos. Or give us a good old thumbs up. Either way, it's awesome. And uh, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, guys.